Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to the Robert Show. Today I'm joined by Ryan Gavin, uh, CMO at Slack. Ryan, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you so much for having me. It's awesome to be here. Uh, Ryan, I'm super excited to chat with you and congratulations on Aging First 3. I was attending the keynote, all the amazing announcements that were made. And I'm excited to chat with you about various things. Uh, we'll obviously deep dive into how Agent Force is transforming Slack from a messaging app into a truly, you know, digital teammate. Uh, I've been also talking to a lot of members in this space, Slack users, and wanting to learn more from them. But it's good to have you on the show and uh, learn firsthand what's happening and how is Slack uh, utilizing AI agents, what's happening in terms of the integration with Agent Force and how does the future of work look like? Uh, so, we, yeah, we're going to uh, dive right in. Uh, Ryan, uh, maybe we can start with a big picture here. How has Slack evolved from a messaging app into what you call now a work OS? Because that's yeah. been quite a transformation, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting if you kind of just step all the way back and be like, you know, the reality is the world doesn't need another collaboration app. Like, there's lots of ways for us to get a hold of each other. There's lots of ways for us to connect. <laughs> that, that's actually not the problem. Um, it, and you talk to a lot of companies around the globe, like, the problem is, like, for many, many people, despite all the tools that have been released, all the technology that comes out every single day, like, work yep. still feels pretty broken. You know, 30, 40 percent of employees time is still spent looking for information like it's the work of work. Uh, you know, average enterprise employees swivel chairs between like 11 or 12 apps every single day. Like you're just going through yeah. context switching after context switching. So that is not how you maximize employee productivity, like in that broken work system. And the world's some of the world's most innovative companies, OpenAI, Anthropic, Rivian, IBM, Box, Ryder, Figma, you name it. Yeah. They think about it differently. They think about, hey, how do we build like a command center? How do we build like a work operating system that is the central hub for all of our people, all of our data, like our structured data, as well as our unstructured data, all of our workflows and applications, yep. all of the enterprise and all of our now agents enabled by AI, where that is the hub for employees. That is the place where the work comes to them. And that is where they can actually go through and really unlock and productivity. And that is what we built with Slack. It is this work operating system that has your people, your apps, your data, your workflows, all enabled by AI, now with agents, all coming to really unlock employee productivity. And that is where you know you see companies get out of the inbox and really get into kind of this idea of like, what does agentic productivity look like uh, yeah. in this, you know, this new era that we're in? Yeah, I think, Ryan, you mentioned a very important point when it comes to, you know, obviously everyone, all the companies are kind of looking at the command center and we don't want uh, more of the integrations to happen, right? Uh, so that's where uh, I, I feel Slack, uh, you know, kind of also we look at it as now the work OS, right? And I'm kind of also curious to learn a little bit about from the team's perspective, because I talk to a lot of enterprise leaders and I, uh, you know, obviously they have this issue where they're like, okay, we need to go and be like our team is kind of spending uh, almost 30 to 40% of time just fetching data. Yeah. Uh, so it, it becomes a challenge, but agent force brings, you know, autonomous AI agents into Slack mm -hmm. and uh, how would you describe its core value to teams today? How are you thinking it's going to solve a lot of problems there? Yeah. So, you know, maybe just for maybe folks who aren't as aware. So Agent Forest is Salesforce's platform for enabling kind of agentic employees and digital labor across every enterprise, every line of business, from everything from customer success through to HR and finance. And um, yep. it's this really incredible platform. And what happens when you bring Agent Force inside of Slack? is you really enable this next tier of employee productivity. And, mm. and the way I think about it is, you know, agent force in Slack really is a capability upgrade for every function inside of every organization. So if I work in human resources and I'm focused all day long, I'm, I'm fundamentally constrained how many employees I can touch, talk to, reach, mm -hmm. and have an engagement with. Well, now with something like agent force in Slack, I can go through and every employee can have a human resource assistant. Every employee can have a finance assistant. Every employee can have an IT help desk assistant. Man. And not only that, every, all those functions can enable their own agent force to do their jobs better. So maybe if I'm uh, you know, in the marketing function and I'm really good at creative, but I'm not so good on like the um, you know, you know, demand optimization side of things, I can have an agent that can support me with that. So 
this is really giving every employee across every line of business a capability upgrade inside of their organization. And it's really, really cool. You know, customers, I was, you know, speaking with a customer the other day, a Mimit Health, they're a physician's group. And, mm. uh, you know, the number one challenge is they have doctors and doctors with tons of burnout, right? They've got more workload than they have. And so they went through and systematically thought about what are all the times that doctors aren't doctoring, <laughs> if you will? And how, yeah. do we, how do we eliminate that with agents in Slack? And, you know, whether it be, you know, note transcriptions, you know, managing uh, physician onboarding, appointment scheduling, et cetera. So Not this is time. giving time doctors to do more what they want to go do and less of that busy work. And that's really what we're starting to see now with this Agent Force and Slack uh, kind of paradigm shift that's happening. Love it. I, I love uh, these points where you mentioned about it's more about the employment, uh, employee productivity, but also the capability upgrade to any department when it comes to, you know, HR, marketing or any other department for that matter. And really good example uh, that you shared it. So it's, you know, what I'm kind of also seeing, it's not limited to just the particular department, but these are also the regulated departments like healthcare or uh, even finance for that matter would play a very important role where, uh, you know, when we're kind of talking about autonomous AI agents. So yeah. that's pretty cool. And that's part of the value of it. This being a Salesforce platform is it's all built on our trust layer. So we inherit all the permissions. We can handle all the regulatory compliance. So when you deploy agents, it can be in a safe and secure, trusted environment, just like you would with any other piece of software across the platform. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, one more question, and I'm kind of curious to know a little bit about this, Ryan, because I've seen many teams, you know, struggle with low value tasks and scattered information. So how are, you know, Slack agents addressing that day to day reality for employees? Uh, do you have any example to share or anything that you've been kind of seeing that this is exactly how we've kind of solved uh, the problem for them? And uh, this is how Slack agents can be utilized to its maximum. Yeah, I mean, I mean, one of the things that's really interesting is, you know, I go back to that thing I talked about at the beginning where work still feels broken. Like last year, yeah. there was a stat that like 80% of all AI projects failed in some capacity, it failed to meet the expectation. And that in many cases is because AI was just kind of dropped in as yet another tool or yet another place yeah. to go for employees. And, you know, Slack starts with, you know, one of our design principles at Slack that I really love is don't make me think. And it's this is just this <laughs> idea of like, hey, this should be intuitive. This should work. And when you think about how agent force and agents show up in Slack, that same principle applies. Like, I shouldn't have to learn how to use this. It should just be like, I want to work with you. You and I know how to work together in Slack. We can DM. We can create a channel. We can open up a canvas. We can collaborate together. We can start a huddle. Mm. All agent interactions should just be the same way as I'm used to working with my with my human teammates. Uh, and that is that is really powerful. And that, that's something that we've uh, really started to see a lot of progress with. I'll tell you, like internally, um, there is a um, engineering agent that we built. So engineering time, as you know, is like incredibly precious. But there are times when we're talking about like customer success or support where we need to have answers from engineers, from our frontline right. customer success teams, et cetera. And so the question was, how do we have an agent who can offload a lot of that work? And so we built this engineering agent that was wired up with all of our knowledge base, all of our understandings of like our products and our portfolios, learn from the past behaviors and interactions. And then we deploy that in Slack right. channel. And those agents in like side of six months were handling like 18,000 inbound cases from our customer oh, wow. support team, et cetera, with like a 76% success rate, meaning like they fully responded and resolved the issue without a, any human yeah. intervention. And if you just do the math on that, like we've got like 700 channels that's, you know, across Salesforce that handle customer support in some form or fashion. It's like 250,000 hours saved and like, you know, $20 million wow. of engineers time. And, you know, so you, you take this little simple idea of an agent in Slack sounds pretty simple, but there's not many $20 million ideas just walking around every single day that can go through yeah. just by doing a better job of what's already happening, which is efficiently answering question and on and, tapping into knowledge that already exists inside your enterprise, but providing more scalable, efficient way for enterprises to access that and doing it in the flow of work. That's the key. Like it can be yet another thing. It has to come to me and it has to be in the way I've used to working. And that's what Slack's been doing. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you mentioned a very important point. First of all, thanks for those insights. And you mentioned a very good point where uh, you've called agents teammates because yeah. uh, that is something we want to always feel where uh, even if there's no human in the loop, but I am talking to a human and it should be responding, it should act as a teammate to me. So what does uh, effective collaboration between a human and a Slack-based 
agent actually look like? Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I, there's a secret sauce here that not enough people talk about <laughs> uh, very, very truthfully. There, there's some of the simple stuff, like it's gotta be trusted. We talked about that. Um, yep. It's gotta be, you know, working right along to teammates. We talked about that. The agents need to have the same capabilities as teammates, like create a channel, start a canvas, update a right. canvas, et cetera. All that stuff's relatively intuitive. The one that no one talks about in the secret sauce is context. Mm. Now, agents that have context are more insightful, take better actions, and are more able to help humans get their job done. And where does context come from? Context comes from conversations. We all have every enterprise, every big system of record has structured data. If you're in Workday, you've got the how long you've been here, what your pay is, et cetera. If you're you know, Salesforce, we've got obviously our CRM, all that structured data. But what happens with all the conversations that we've been having? Mm. The, the conversations of an enterprise are its long-term memory. That's where the context sits. And if an agent can tap into those conversations and can understand that context and couple that with that structured data, then it becomes very, very powerful. Game the, the insights, the actions all become richer. When you're interacting with your agent and you say, you know, let's say you're working on the Apple account, you say, hey, I need to, the, the latest on Apple. I need to know what the last five deals are. You know, the agent knows you're talking about Apple, the company, and these deals that you're working on, not oh, wow. Apple, the fruit or something else, right? So that's a very simple example. But that context in Slack is the long-term memory of your company. And it's largely been inaccessible uh, previous to AI. And now with Agent Force, your agents can tap into it and bring all that rich context history right into the flow of work. Love it. Now you mentioned about context is king is something definitely very much... Uh you know, it resonates with me because in our uh, daily, you know, routine, we are using AI in some or the other capacity. But if the AI tool can actually get the context about what we're kind of talking about in different ways, uh, it can be a game changer. And if it, it is kind of integrated with Slack, it kind of becomes much more easier. So thanks right. for sharing that. Um, uh, Ryan, I'm kind of also wanting to learn uh, and understand for those companies who are just kind of getting started, uh, how simple it is to deploy and manage these agents inside Slack and what's required. Yeah. So, I mean, this is where, you know, we've done a lot of the heavy lifting to say, hey, what are all these kind of employee use cases, you know, employee onboarding that like product support um, sales, you know, we have a sales agent that we use internally for like our 22,000 sellers that helps them save time on things like preparing for executive meetings, et cetera. What we're doing is we've templatized all those. And so uh, when you buy Agent Force, there's a thing called Agent Force Builder. And we've got these pre built templates that mm -hmm. basically get the agent almost all the way ready to go. Uh, so you connect up your data to the agent. You might you might customize some nice. of the actions that we'll go through. And you can simply deploy that agent in Slack. And so we've made it very, very simple for enterprises to get started to bring Agent Force to their employees in Slack through these templates. And then, as oh. I mentioned before, We've given the agents the same skills, uh, the same capabilities, the actions that uh, that you'd expect. So create a canvas or create a DM or talk to me in channel. So these agents have Slack based actions, which, again, just makes them feel like another teammate. Um, so when they get deployed in Slack, you don't need to go through some new training or some new uh, enablement session. It all just works the way you'd expect. And I'll tell you a fun story like um, yeah, for sure. there's a company called Easy Cater and they're building an agent that helps uh, when a, one of their customers has a compensation question, so they want it to be like a reimbursement or something like issue with their account, and the agent provides a recommendation on what that compensation to that customer mm -hmm. should be. So they built it up where if the agent comes back with a recommendation and it's maybe too high or not what the uh, human representative thinks it should be, they don't have to respond. The human representative just does a thumb down emoji, uh, and that tells the agent, oh, wow. hey, that's you didn't hit the mark. Go back and rework this maybe at a lower price point. And so it's like, it's such a simple example of like, it's just human. It's like, intuitive. we all know how to use emojis now, like use emojis with agents and it works. Um, exactly. so like, some of the simple examples like that are, are kind of fun. Yeah, exactly. No, I think that's a game changer for sure. In terms of as a consumer, it just becomes easier for us to, you know, utilize the best. Uh, and if agents are kind of, you know, doing it for us, why not? Such a pleasure chatting with you. One last question for you. If folks want to reach out to you, follow you, which is the best place? Is LinkedIn the best place to follow you? Yeah, LinkedIn's great. Yeah, love to love to hear from folks. And uh, yeah, and for those folks using Slack, thank you. And if, if you haven't tried it out yet, uh, drop me a note and we'll get you hooked up. Thanks, Ryan. Such a pleasure chatting with you. We'll keep the conversation going, but uh, congratulations again on all the success. All right, man. Take care. Thank you. Take care.